The NCAA basketball tournament underway in Indianapolis has been around for more than 80 years. But another indie institution has the tourney beat by about four decades. For many, St. Elmo, the James Beard award-winning steakhouse, is the place to be seen during big events in town and the place to indulge in the classic steakhouse experience. There's so much history just being in this space, it feels like. Yeah. A trip inside St. Elmo Steakhouse is a trip back in time. Well, this is the original bar. Uh, this is where everybody came in from 1902 still today. Uh, Tiger Oak Bar, it's been here since day one. If this bar could talk, a lot of people might be in trouble by now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? And Craig Hughes is one of the areas. current owners of this Indianapolis landmark just the third ownership group in a near 120-year history, starting with its founder, Joe Starr. This was the original room, the only room, at St. Elmo back when it was Joe Starr's tavern. That tavern over time evolved into St. Elmo's Steakhouse. Harry Roth and Isidore Rosen owned it from 47 to 86. Harry was an optometrist in Chicago, and he said, I went from, from eyeglasses to bar glasses and came down to help my brothers. The brothers quickly moved on to something, but Harry and Izzy operated it for a long time before my father bought it in 1986. Eleven years later, Hughes partnered with his dad, a veteran restaurateur, in what's become the family business. What was it about this place that spoke to your father? He was a guest. I mean, he, he loved it from, from your perspective, sitting down and got to know Harry and Izzy's and a lot of the staff, the employees here. He and I both feel like we're stewards of this restaurant, and we're here to guide it throughout time. That respect for the past is obvious in every aspect of St. Elmo, from its decor to its food. The menu is vintage steakhouse, everything from a 22-ounce tomahawk steak to a 12-ounce filet, sides like king crab mac and cheese, even decadent desserts like homemade cheesecake. Steakhouses traditionally are limited menus anyway, and they don't try to be something to everybody. Right. We just do what we do, and it's a very clear identity of a restaurant concept, and it really works well. Take its house specialty, the only appetizer on the menu, the St. Elmo shrimp cocktail. People recognize it by the fact that the cocktail sauce, laden with tons of fresh ground horseradish, just gets dolped right on top of the shrimp. So how spicy should I be prepared for? Familiar with the kick. I think you can handle this. It's... <laughs> I couldn't wait to dig in. No utensils required. Just grade A large horseradish roots that get ground every single day here in the restaurant. It's so good. It's sinus clearing. But I'm okay. I'm okay. The tradition of that shrimp cocktail, where does that come from? Harry Roth always shared with me that it goes back as far as he knows. It was part of something they created that kept people coming back, as evidenced by the very walls of St. Elmo, covered in its guests. Every photograph that's on the wall is someone that's dined here. They come from every celebrity industry that you can imagine, but sports certainly trends very well with steakhouses. Keeping tradition is important at St. Elmo, as is staying relevant, meaning subtle evolutions and additions, like this signature drink developed 10 years ago, the St. Elmo Cola. This is our number one cocktail. It's our whiskey that's infused with Italian Luxardo cherries, vanilla, and then we serve it with a little glass bottle of Coke on the side. It's an adult cherry cola. But nothing St. Elmo could do would prepare it for this past year. When we had a snow day in January, I would be crushed. We're not going to be open. We're not going to be able to serve guests. And then when COVID-19 comes around and shuts the restaurant down for two and a half months, it's just like, how are we going to survive that? Events like March Madness in Indianapolis, a big help in coming back from the pandemic. The restaurant is coming back, and especially due to this tournament, you're going to see it's going to be like the light at the end of the tunnel is now all around us. It's not at the end of the tunnel. It's, we're out of the tunnel. Why is it important for a place like St. Elmo to keep on going? Restaurants like St. Elmo and, and those restaurants all around the country that are independent and have a history about them help give a town or a city a character and identity and a sense of place. And Hughes hopes when it comes to St. Elmo, that means a future as long as it's past. The restaurant has survived two pandemics now, 
prohibition, several world wars, and, and, and it just keeps going on. My hope is that 100 years from now, it's still going on, and we're going to leave it a better place you know, whatever time that torch gets handed on to someone else. <laughs> And I brought a little <clears throat> taste of St. Elmo and Indy to you. We have the famous St. Elmo shrimp cocktail and the beverage as well. You've got to taste the sauce. The sauce, it's the kick, it's everything about it. Everybody will tell you that's what you have to have. My dad lives in Indy. St. Elmo is great. I'm so glad you did this. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought this right. for us. Yeah. And the taste of the beverage. Cheers. Okay. I'll do this. Mm. You do that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is, like, oh, yeah. is it really that bad? It's spicy. You get enough it's horseradish good. in there. And the key is Love you don't it. want the horseradish sitting in the sauce for too long. The oh. fresher it is, the spicier it is. Oh, wow. I did learn that. They wouldn't tell me how much horseradish, but they did tell me that. We're else. inching closer to the OG dishes. I know. You know, we're just, we're almost Got a, there. Cheers to you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, and Dana. To that final Excellent floor. job at March Madness. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Our cool these flames down a little. Woo! Mm. <laughs> Feels good.